What's up guys, it's Jake with JT Calls, and we're right in the middle of trade show season, and one of the biggest questions that I get is, what do you wear when you're turkey hunting? So, we're going to make a video on it. This is my getup. Let's dive into it. Alright, let's break this down piece by piece. Everything is in the Sitka subalpine pattern. Alright, let's start with the pants. These are the Ascent pants, and they're a... It's a really lightweight pant. In Indiana, our turkey season temperatures vary greatly. Some years it's really hot, some years it's really cold. And I can generally deal with my legs not being the warmest as long as my upper body's warm. So I would say on average, our temperatures are in the 40s to 50s in the morning and then getting up in the 60s or 70s in the afternoon. And for the type of turkey hunting we do, being on the go, climbing hills, you know, whatever we need to do, these pants work great. They're super thin, they're unbelievably comfortable. They got a lot of stretch to them. I don't know if you can see that, but they really stretch. They, the pants fit a little bit tight, which I really like. I don't like all the extra bulky baggy clothes that are swishing around and catching on stuff. They really hug my legs and just move with you. If they weren't so expensive, I'd probably wear these every single day of my life. As far as pockets go, you got your standard two pockets up on the front. There's a zipper pocket on the side and then there's a zipper pocket on the other side on your thigh. One of my gripes, my only gripe, is they don't have any back pockets. I don't really have any place to put my wallet, but I usually keep that in my turkey vest anyway, so that's not a deal breaker. So starting off, these are the Ascent pants. And they do have places for knee pads, but I don't wear knee pads. Moving on. Next is the base layer shirt that I wear. This is the shirt that I'm wearing next to my skin. This is the Crew Lightweight Long Sleeve Shirt in Subalpine also. It's nice and lightweight, and I wear it next to my skin, and I have a layer I wear over it when it's cold in the mornings, and then in the afternoon when it heats up to 50, 60, 70 degrees, I take my top layer off, and this is my go-to. Nice and lightweight. It's this kind of material on the inside. Good and stretchy, breathable. And just like the pants, it fits nice and tight. I'll go ahead and put it on for you. I'm like 5'9", 155, and I wear a medium. It fits me perfect. So nice and tight, sleeves aren't baggy, the midsection's not baggy, it just fits me tight. So I don't have anything catching as I'm going through the woods. It's all nice and tight to my body. And that's just how I like it. Next, we've got the Core Lightweight Hoodie. So it's the same material as the shirt that I'm wearing now, but it has a hood and a pocket. So I'm gonna start the morning with this on. And as long as it's not getting below 50-ish degrees, this is just fine for me. And it's got the hood that has the built-in face mask so I can go full ninja on them, which I really like. I find myself wearing this quite a bit. It's got a zip pocket right here on the chest. It's not super big, my phone won't fit in it, but I could put a couple mouth calls or something in there. And it zips down to about right there, kind of right in the middle of my chest, so. Big zipper, face mask, hood, the whole bit. Really, really like this thing. The next part is arguably my favorite. These are the Ascent gloves. And the gloves are a little bit pricey for how thin they are, but my goodness, I've never owned a better pair of gloves in my life. They're a little bit tight getting on. They got the Tex fingers, but they're super lightweight. And I don't know if you can tell, but they fit my hand just perfectly. It's like I don't even have gloves on. I, if the gloves are too big and my fingers are swimming around inside of them, I can't handle it, I don't wear them. The palms have a really durable material on them, in the back side of the gloves is kind of like the shirt. It's really lightweight, breathes well. These are not for being warm. These are for concealment and protecting your hands. They got this, I don't even know what to call the material that's on the palms, but it's super durable. I just can't say enough good things about these gloves. These are my favorites. And then the final piece of the puzzle, which I honestly don't wear that much, because most of the time I have this hoodie on and it's got the face mask, but I have this face mask. It goes around my neck. I put it on upside down. One side's tighter than the other one. The tight side you wear up top so it grips onto your face. So I've got my little face mask neck gaiter deal. 
most of the time it ends up living just like this. So that is my turkey hunting get up. It's all subalpine. It's got plenty of green, but still plenty of brown, especially in the early part of season. Usually the woods isn't green at all, so it works really well throughout the whole season. It's all super comfortable, high quality stuff. And Sitka, if you're watching this, I need a turkey vest. Hook a brother up. Come on. I, I'm really, really weird about wearing conflicting camo patterns. I like to match, as weird as that is, people make fun of me. I like to match all my stuff. And having to wear a turkey vest that does not match the rest of my clothes is a big problem for me. So, if we get that worked out, let me know. Email jakejtcalls.com. Send, send me a message, let's, let's talk. We need a turkey vest. Come on! But anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope it helped you. All the links for all this stuff will be down in the description. So give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Good luck this season, and we will see you in the next one.